Hi everyone, welcome to our quick tutorial on how to use Automix in DJ Pro AI on your iPad. Let's get started by going directly to Automix mode in DJ's dashboard. Here you have the option to choose individual songs or a playlist to mix. We'll first choose individual songs for Automix. To do that, first tap the library button, then tap add songs, and from here you can add as many songs from as many different music library sources as you'd like. You can easily switch between sources using the drop down menu in the upper left corner of the window. I'm going to stick with our featured library source, where we can choose from over a hundred tracks across a range of genres. And by the way, this music is available to everyone for free. Let's choose a few songs here and get Automix going. You can see that we've added those songs to our Automix queue, and they'll appear in the Up Next section. Automix will begin playing automatically using the default settings. If you'd like to change any of the Automix settings, you can do so by tapping on the Automix settings menu on the screen. Here you can change the transition type, the duration of the transition, the tempo adjust used in the transition, as well as set your desired start and end points of the songs, and set a maximum song play duration if desired. You can also just let Automix run with the default settings, in which case all you have to do is sit back and enjoy your mix. Now let's take a look at some of the other options available in Automix mode. First note that in the Automix settings menu, you can quickly stop or start Automix, which could come in handy if, for example, you're ready to start mixing on your own using DJ's classic mode. Just tap stop Automix, then switch over to classic mode to get set up for taking over the mix. You can also stop or start the music entirely by tapping the play button. And to go to the next track in your Automix queue, simply tap the play next button. If you want the entire Automix queue to play at a set BPM, just tap on the BPM menu, set the BPM to match your desired pace, and use pitch lock to avoid any of those chipmunk sounding vocals. We also need to set the Automix Tempo Adjust settings to sync. This functionality could be helpful if, for example, you're setting up a solo bike ride or a spin class mix and you want your pace to stay steady using Automix. Set it up like this and away you go. Also note, you can easily reset this option if desired to get back to the original BPM of your tracks. Now that we've covered adding individual songs to the Automix queue, let's talk about choosing your favorite playlist for Automix. To select a playlist, tap on Select Playlist, and then navigate to whichever music library source holds the playlist you wish to play. In this case, I want to play a playlist I created in my collection. So I'll just tap on my collection, find the playlist I want to use, and tap Select Playlist. Just as before when adding individual songs, Automix will begin playing automatically, using the default settings. And finally, if you want to hide the music library and just let Automix flow in full screen, just tap the library icon. And that's it! Let's see a quick example of Automix in action. Everybody in the place, do your hands like this. Got a brand. 